Well, hey YouTube, so today guys, we're back here with another review, and today we have a review here, this is Tommy Bahama, guys, this is the Tommy Bahama Emmy Fielder Polo T-shirt, this is the orange version of it, guys, so, this is probably their biggest uh, t-shirt line or polo shirt for the, uh, for the short sleeve, so, if you go to the store and you see a short sleeve shirt from, uh, from uh, Tommy Bahama, you have three buttons here. Most likely, this is going to be Emmy Fielder. That's the really the big one there. And that seems to be getting most of the sales. For good reason, guys. You know, obviously, Tommy Bahama is not cheap. You know, I do have an internship. So, because of that, I did have to buy something a little bit more nicer. I did want I did want to get something that was very nice and kind of made a good impression on the first day of work, right? I think that's very important here. This is not, this is not Tommy Bahama. Don't worry about this shirt. Don't worry about that. This this is the uh, feature here. So yeah, here's a here's a closer uh, look here at the shirt here. It's it's very well made. They have their own proprietary material here. Um, there's an actual name right here. One moment. Yeah, it's called Lyo Cell or Tencel. So if you guys can see that, it says it right here. It's about sixty six percent. I I don't know of any other product that has this material. It. Can you guys see that? Hopefully you can. That's the uh, good look at it. So yeah, that's what makes this thing very special. It's very comfortable in my opinion, but obviously it's still considered like a nice shirt. You know, it's not cheap, guys. You know, it's under a hundred bucks. Fortunately, I wasn't gonna buy one for more than that. But you know, it's not too much cheaper than that. Anything under a hundred, anything under a hundred, in my opinion, would be a good deal. So you do have a collar, so that's uh, uh very very nice. Obviously, now, obviously if you do buy this thing. You're gonna, gonna get yourself a real hanger. This is just a dry cleaner hanger. Obviously, this is recommended you bring this thing to a dry cleaner. The other uh, thirty three percent is. Let me see what that is. Thirty four percent. That's poly. It's got polyester. So yeah. It's comfortable, it's cool, guys. So I'm going to put this thing on. I think that was a common complaint I had from my last clothing review. So luckily, I do have a shirt under this because um, last time I made one of these videos, I did not. And that's why I did not want to do it. But I do, I do have an undershirt on. So I do want to showcase this process. I do think it's kind of important. So give me a give me one moment here. I'm going to take this off here. and Let's let's do it. So, yeah, I'm a big fan. Actually, I like Tommy Bahama. And obviously, if you're going on an, on an island vacation or something like that, then yeah, this is a good shirt for that as well. You know, Hawaii, Aruba, Tanzania, right? But also for workplace. I, I mean, obviously, if you have like a, this, this, this is a perfect perfect example of maybe a business casual, right? It's not pure casual, obviously, because that's a t-shirt like this. A t-shirt like this is pure casual, just very very casual. Um, Guys, one thing you should be aware about the workplace, this this t-shirt here is, is uh, very casual, right? But a sports shirt, like a Nike shirt, Adidas, Under Armour, that's basically, nice. I'll be honest with you, especially the pants, the shirt, okay, the shirt's a little, maybe a little bit flexible, but the pants, right, this is considered very casual. Never, ever wear sports pants to work, unless you're the CEO and you don't give a crap, right? But other than that, you really ought to never wear that type of stuff. I learned that pretty quickly in my last internship a couple years ago. That um, that's not that's not the move, man. It's not what you're supposed to do. So I learned that quickly. This, this is basically casual, man. This is basically as casual as it gets in business. At least at least in the big man guys, at least in the big city, which I consider obviously Manhattan, right? So I do have an internship in Manhattan. And this is basically as casual as it gets. You won't see anybody wearing less clothing in terms of, you know, casualness than this. I'm not saying you gotta spend a hundred bucks on a nice shirt like this, but I think it actually does justice on a first impression. I do think it definitely separated me from my uh, other interns and others, just stuff like that. You know, guys, you guys know what I'm saying? So yeah, this is a shirt. It's awesome. Let me stand up for you. This is, the, I believe this is a small so maybe it runs a little bigger. Maybe this is a medium. I'll, I'll check out um, that later. You know, I think it looks pretty nice. It's airy. It's comfortable, but it's still nice. You know, I just like it, man. It looks great with khakis as well. I'm going to review my khakis at a later point. I think khakis are also something you definitely need if you're uh, an, an intern or something like that. But at the same time, don't, don't let me just uh, fool you. This is not just for interns. This is for employees of any age. I think anybody could enjoy this. So overall, this is probably my famous, my favorite uh, nice shirt in the uh, business casual category here. So if you do want to buy this, guys, I recommend it. Um, Amazon link will be down below. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe and like for daily news and reviews. Make sure you put on the notification bell as well. And yeah. 
Um, check out pboastonline.com, my website. Got gaming, got reviews, got news, got uh, shopping, got great stuff on there. So overall, guys, really hope you enjoyed that video, and yeah, thank you and bye.